हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand problems on feedback biasing in BJT. In the first problem, we need to find the Q point IC and VCE, and they have given the circuit where VCC is 12 volts, RC is 10 kilo ohm, and RB is 100 kilo ohm, and beta is given as 100. First, we need to write the given data. So they have given VCC is equal to twelve volts, RC is equal to ten kilo ohm, RB is equal to hundred kilo ohm, and beta is equal to hundred. To find IC at Q point, first let us find IB that can be given as VCC minus VBE divided by RB. Plus one plus beta into R C. So if we substitute the values, we'll get I B is equal to twelve volts minus zero point seven volt divided by hundred kilo ohm plus one plus beta is hundred plus one, which is one not one into ten kilo. If we solve this, we'll get I B. Is equal to ten point one eight micro amperes. Now we can find IC as beta times IB, so it will be hundred multiplied with ten point one eight micro amperes. So IC will be equal to one point zero one eight milliampere. We can find VCE. By using the formula VCC minus IB into one plus beta into RC. So if we substitute these values, we'll get twelve volts minus ten point one eight micro amperes into one not one multiplied with ten kilo ohm. So from this. We can write VCE is equal to one point seven one eight two volts. So we got the values for IC and VCE. So the Q point will be available at these two points. So we can say Q point is available at one point zero one eight milliampere and one point seven one eight two volts. So we can say Q point is at One point zero one eight milliampere and one point seven one eight two volts. Now let us take the second problem where we need to design a collector to base biasing circuit for VCC is equal to fifteen volts, VCE is equal to five volts, IC is equal to five milliampere, and beta is equal to hundred. So, if I say design the circuit, which means once we do the calculations, we need to write the circuit and we need to substitute all the values which we have calculated. Here, first, let us find all the current components of biasing circuit. They have given IC is equal to five milliampere. We can find IB that can be given as IC divided by beta. So, it will be. Five milliampere divided by hundred. So from this we can say IB is equal to fifty microampere. We can write IE is equal to IB plus IC. So it will be equal to fifty microampere plus five milliampere. So IE will be equal to Five point zero five zero milliamperes. Next, let us find the voltages. VCC is given. We can write VCC is equal to fifteen volts. We know VBE that can be written as zero point seven volts, and they have given VCE is equal to five volts. Next, we will find the resistances. 
we know we can write RC is equal to VCC minus VCE divided by IB plus IC. So it will be 15 minus 5 divided by 5.050 milli. So RC will be equal to 1.98 kilo ohm. From this we can say RC will be equal to 1.98 kilo ohm. Now we need to find RB. RB will be equal to VCE minus VBE divided by IB. So it will be equal to 5 minus 0 0.7 volt divided by 50 micro ampere. So RB will be equal to 86 kilo ohm. So after finding all these values, we need to write the circuit and we need to substitute all these values. Here VCC is 15 volts. RC is 1.98 kilo ohm. RB is 86 kilo ohm. Beta is equal to 100. This is about problems on feedback biasing in BJT. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.